क्लास इलेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट केमिस्ट्री यूनिट वन बेसिक कंसेप्ट दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी शेल लर्न अबाउट नंबर वन मोलैरिटी नंबर टू Molality differences only of R and L. Number three, mole fraction. We will discuss about. these three concentration terms used in chemistry quite often let us first start with molarity what is molarity of a solution we will discuss only binary solutions right now you know that which is in larger quantity that is solvent and which is in lesser quantity that is solute and we are concerned about in molarity the number of moles of the solute in one liter solution right number of moles of the solute in one liter suppose one mole is there then the molarity of the solution would be one molar if number of moles of the solute is 2 then that is 2 molar solution if half then 0.5 molar and so on. let us further understand that here we take a certain amount of solute see x grams x gram of solute we have taken and we put solvent into it so that it dissolves and this is c solvent it dissolves and we make the solution how much 1 liter say this is the mark of 1 liter and we make the total solution to 1 liter and it gets dissolved in that now the amount of solution is how much 1 liter this is the volume of solution we are measuring here remember that volume of the solution is 1 liter and the amount of solute is x gram that we have measured in what means we have measured its mass what would be the number of moles of this solute this x is to be divided by the molar mass that would be the number of moles of the solute let us understand it with a, an example with an example let us understand it suppose now we prepared a solution 
and this solution is 1 litre and in this 1 litre see the amount of glucose is 100 gram that is glucose this is 1 liter solution we know the volume volume of solution is how much 1 liter and the glucose is how much 100 gram what is the molar mass of glucose the formula is C6 H 12 or 6 12 into 6 72 plus 12 into 1 12 and 6 into 16 96 96 plus 84 that comes out to be 180 72 plus 12 84 84 plus 96 that comes out to be gram per mole here we have to find out the number of moles in 100 gram then that would be equal to divided by 180 means 5 upon 9 gone means it would come out to be point Five, five, five. Right? Moles. Therefore, this solution is this much molar. Important point is what? That in a molarity, you have to remember that the volume of the solution is considered in calculation. And the amount of solute is taken in gram or mass of that is measured to find out the number of moles and finally the number of moles are to be found or calculated because by knowing the mass we can come to know about the number of moles and not by the volume unless until we don't know the density right is that clear Similarly, here suppose you are given a solution of certain solute and volume of the solution is C. Volume of solution is 200 ml. That is the volume of solution. And in 200 ml solution, the solute is C, 50 gram. And the molar mass of the solute is C, 30 gram per mole or 30 U per molecule. Then it is to be divided by 30. 5 upon 3 that comes out means what 1.667 is that clear this much molar the solution 
contains this much number of moles in how much volume 200 if we take it 1 liter then the number of moles would be how much obviously 5 times of this means 8.335 molar solution the solution molarity is how much this much molar next is number 2 molality molality here what we measure we take solute in what same as it was in molarity means we have to measure its mass so that we can find out the number of moles because to calculate molality we have to find out the number of moles of the solute that is same as it was in molarity difference is where in molarity we take the mass of the solution means here solute as well as solvent we must take mass and to calculate the molality this solvent must be 1 kg means the number of moles of solute number of moles of solute mixed with 1 kg solvent so what do we have to do we have to measure the mass of the solute and we have to take 1 kg solvent and we have to mix those together after mixing that how many moles we have mixed that decides the molality let us understand this suppose we take mass of solute as the same as we took in previous example 100 gram of glucose and we mix that glucose in 1 kg or 1000 gram of water here this is to be divided by 180 because that's the molar mass of glucose that comes out to be how much 100 divided by 180 that comes out to be 0.5555 that was there and this is one therefore this is point five 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 molar solution here you know that we have measured mass of both solute as well as a solvent that is why temperature has no effect on molality but on molarity it has effect suppose this is solution and this solution is 1 liter at a certain temperature T when this temperature is reached then what happens its volume increases and when volume increases the number of solutes remaining the same the molarity would decrease because the same number of moles are there in a larger amount of solution means more than 1 liter So that's about molality. Let us now understand mole fraction. Here solute that is also to be taken in gram or its mass as in other three concentration terms means molarity and molality. 
and solvent also. That should be taken in. Solute is also taken in gram and solvent is also taken in gram. And then we have to find out the number of moles of the solute and solvent. How? Let us understand through an example. Suppose we take 900 gram of water. How many number of moles would be there? Number of moles of H2 would be equal to how many? 900 means the mass in gram is to be divided by the molar mass and molar mass of water is how much? 2 plus 16, 18 then it comes out to be 18 means that comes out to be 50 moles 50 moles Therefore, we have found the number of moles of water means 900 gram of H2O is equal to 50 moles, right? And we take, say, 58.5 gram of NaCO. How much? 58.5 gram of NaCO. What is the molar mass of NaCO? 23 plus 35.5 that comes out to be 58.5. Means the number of moles of NaCO in 58.5 gram is 1 mole. Means 58.5 gram of NaCO has how many moles? One mole. Therefore, to calculate mole fraction of a solution, we have to find the number of moles of every constituent, every substance present in the mixture or in the homogeneous mixture or solution. Be that two, three, four or five, whatever. Therefore, we must weigh, means we must know the mass of every constituent in the mixture and then we have to find out the number of moles and after that here we have to find out the mole fraction mole fraction of water would be how much number of moles of water divided by total number of moles that is and same is true for NaCl. Therefore, the mole fraction of NaCl would be that would come out how much? This is 50 upon 51. Either we can subtract this from 1 or we can calculate from here also that would be equal to 1 upon 51 this is more fraction 50, 50 upon 51 of H2O and 1 upon 51 of NaCl here it's homework for you this is question number 1 what volume of the 0.8 molar solution contains 100 milli moles of the solute. Question number two. Which of the following changes with change in temperature? Number one, molality. Number two, molarity. And number three, mole fraction. And you also have to tell why. Question number three. Density of 1.05 molar solution of acetic acid Acetic acid means ethanoic acid is 
0.02 gram per ml. What you have to calculate? You have to calculate the molality. Next question number 4. What volume of 0.1 molar H2SO4 must be added to 50 ml of 0.1 molar solution of NaOH to just neutralize the NaOH solution. Question number 5. In which of the following concentration terms mass is to be measured? Number 1. Mass of solvent terms mass of the solvent is to be measured. Number 1 molarity, number 2 molality and number 3 mole fraction. Next you have to write or derive formulas or formulae of number 1 to calculate molarity, 2 molality and number 3 mole fraction. You have to derive the equations. That's it this lecture.